I'm going to try canoeing into a, uh, a different lake this morning. Water level's getting pretty low in the lake. So, now it might be a good chance. Rattles, it wiggles in the water. Now let's see if we can row up the connecting string. Pretty fast moving water, so I'm not going to do wasn't pretty, but I made it. Talk about a workout.
day in history, Friday, March 22nd, 1996. Let's see what was in the paper. Futurists sketch out what life will be like in the next millennium. What do you think? Do you think this is what life is like in the next millennium? It's a typical day in the year 2006. After a hectic afternoon of negotiating contracts with business partners in Hong Kong, London, Moscow, and the Bronx, you step from your office into your kitchen. What's for lunch? You press a hand on your personal diagnostic machine, and quicker than you can say Michael Jackson does, does Sinatra, the unit checks your blood pressure, cholesterol, and weight-fat ratio and reads out your nutritional requirements. Up pops suggested menus. Kitchen robots quietly go to work moving ingredients from a smart refrigerator that is built in a microwave oven. A minute later, out rolls a garden salad with a dill dressing and open faced pork roast sandwich on wheat, no crust. I don't know, not too far off. I also loved Family Circus growing up. It says, Is Swiss steak the kind with holes in it? Cool, well, let's get a fire going.
increased beach access with the float plane that drops me off, picks me up here. Uh, that big dead tree standing uh, beetle kill spruce right there, that's in the way of one of the wings, so we can't pull it up that close to shore. Um, so right now I'm just going to clear a path down to it, also uh, make my view a little bit better from the cabin, and then once I get to it, uh, probably after lunch, uh, we'll, uh, we'll take it down. Let's get to it. fancy for lunch. Just doing a Costco hot dog, Polish type, uh, over the fire. Since I actually have a fire going during lunch time today. So one of the challenges living in Tokyo and coming out here is Japan has very strict knife laws. There are no guns aside from like military and police. Um, so if I were to try and take, you can buy knives in Japan for the purposes of like scuba diving or camping, but when you buy it, some stores make you fill out like a, a little questionnaire, like, oh, why are you buying this knife? Um, just kind of covering their own butts, I think. Um, so coming out this time at a in Anchorage before flying out here, I just picked up this Benchmade. I don't even know what it is. Benchmade S30V steel, so I think it's a stainless steel. It's a good steel for sure. Uh, it was a little expensive, but I plan to just leave this one out here. So um, at least for the next three years, whenever I do come out here, I don't have to worry about bringing a knife because I know I've got a good one out here. Um, I've had a few bench baits over the years. Overall, I like them. Definitely a high quality blade. See how that works. Well, it's a ton of boy 650 again and trim off some of these branches. It's easy to do while it's standing like this. Should be 
good. Enough room to work with. Yeah, the lake is right here, so I don't want to get my feet wet. This thing's like half in the water. Definitely not the cleanest notch. Should work though, put the tree where I want it.
right now I'm just clearing out a lot of these dead branches and everything. Again, increasing uh, beach access. Not only for the canoe, but also for the float plane when she, when she shows up.
while doing some little odd jobs, including pulling out some of the cardboard and everything that was under the cabin. I found something, I don't know, reminiscent of the previous owner. Kind of tells um, tells you a little bit about them. They were, uh, they apparently had a 12 pack of old Milwaukee beer out here. I have not seen this beer for quite a long time, but I'm going to be looking for it now. I'd like to uh, give it a try. For some reason, it seems like, I don't know, maybe my grandpa or my family in uh, Wisconsin, someone used to drink old Milwaukee beer, but that's beside the point. I hauled over some firewood that I'll split tomorrow, just split it in half and put it in the woodshed for the next trip. Uh, cut up some kindling so I'm set for the next two or three days on that. Alright, so a slight change in plans. Of One of my uh, remote neighbors out here, someone who's a full timer out here, was kind enough to jump in his motorboat and uh, motor himself all the way over to my cabin to let me know that the, uh, the air charter I go through contacted him. They know he's a full-timer out here and probably knows where I'm at. Contacted him and said, the President of the United States is going to be flying into Anchorage the day that I am flying out. So they are unable to come get me on that day, so I could either shift my extract date to the right or to the left. And given that I have a flight to Tokyo, uh, I decided to shift that flight to the left. So I'm now coming out of the bush about a full day earlier than previously planned. Uh, not, not a huge deal. Um, I do, you know, a lot of projects to get done out here, so I'm gonna have to reprioritize some of those. Um, but it, it's it's kind of funny how even out here in you know a, a very remote part of the most northern state in the United States, um, politics and you know the the powers that be can still affect you, which it's not a great feeling. But you know what can you do? Uh, I'm I'm gonna go fishing. That's what I'm gonna do about it. So uh, see you guys out on the lake. I got a special lure from Japan that I'm excited to show you guys and tell you about. All right, so while in Tokyo, I walk into a uh, fishing shop and somehow convey to the, uh, the shop owner, a very small shop, that I'm looking for a fishing lure that's a mouse because that's what the, the pike out here seem to really love. And he's like, oh, oh, oh yeah, go, oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Um, goes in the back, finally comes out with this age old looking thing. Uh, what is it? The Chili Chili Riser Jackal. Uh, it's a sinking lure, which I'm not super fond of in this lake just due to all the weeds. But check that out. It's it's very weathered looking, aged, like it's been sitting on a, on a shelf for a long time in the sun. Uh, no one bought it, and he just put it in the back, and miraculously I come along looking for a mouse. Uh, this this mouse looks just crazy, like eyeballs bugging out. It's got some kanji on his back. I don't know what that is. Hopefully it's a magic spell so I catch some catch some pike this trip. But let's pop it open, throw it on, and see how she does. You can see that it's got a tail yeah I don't know it doesn't really look like a mouse but we'll see how she does on the flip side the one that has been working for me I would say looks very much like a mouse it's got a little rubber feet a rubber tail that tends to come out but this is the tail that I replaced from the old uh, weedless lure. But yeah, that looks more like 
a real mouse to me. And it also rattles. Alright, so let's pop this dude off. If I'm not having luck with the Japanese mouse, I'll go back to the American mouse. stick or something. Alright, one more in this location, then we'll go on to the next. Oh, that was a bad one. I'm gonna have to do a second one. Yeah, it feels like I just hooked into one with the Japanese lure. He's hooked in both lips. Yeah, there you go. With the crazy Japanese mouse lure. Look at those eyeballs. Awesome. There's a young eagle flying over right now, right there. Pretty cool. Hooked into another with the uh, Japanese mouse lure. number two on the Japanese lure. Probably 16 inches. Got my line all tangled up on that one. So one of the problems with these sinking lures is you get a lot of that. It's lake weed. I've caught two pike on it this evening, which is pretty pretty good. So we'll keep going with it. Uh, I tend to reel a little bit faster than I normally would with this sinking lure, and then keep the pole tip high, just trying to keep it up and off the bottom as much as possible. Lake is just perfectly smooth and still right now. <laughs> 